Wink Free Community. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell to get access to all our training videos and awesome product reviews from my awesome wife and daughter, Alexandra Thier. It's Scott Wickfree here, Sensi Superstar Director. I hope everybody is good and wow, boom. Let's get this week started. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the minimum disease that many, many, many Sensi consultants have. And that if you wanna progress in your business or in life, You've got to get rid of the minimum disease, okay? What am I talking about minimum disease? Is people come into this business and they want to know what's the minimum they got to do? What's the minimum amount of sales they got to do? What's the minimum they got to do to get paid on their team? What's the minimum numbers they got to hit to hit their title? Yeah, but it's something I hear so often and this is why people don't grow in this business. And I think this whole minimum comes from, it's not just in this business, it's in many, many things. It comes from the employee and the employer, okay? So people are employed, and me as an employer, I wanna do the minimum as work as possible to get the maximum amount of pay. And the employer wants to get the maximum amount of work out of you and give you the minimum amount of pay. And that is the mindset which crushes entrepreneurs. And if you want to be an entrepreneur, i.e. if you started a Sensi business and you want to build it, you are an entrepreneur, you have got to totally get rid of that society misinformation and get rid of the minimum disease. Okay? What So, what am I talking about minimum disease? I just went through things about this business. I'm just looking at my notes, just to let you know, I'm not an exact pro. I've got some notes by, by me, is that people are asking the wrong questions. And you need to change your mentality today. So what questions are you gonna ask? Yeah, so instead of saying, what is the minimum I need to do to get paid on my team? You need to be asking, what is, what do I need to do? What's the minimum I need to do to hit my goals? Okay, that is the sort of questions you've got to ask. If you want to be successful, you have got to go that extra mile. Yep, I always remember my mom, she always ran marathons. She ran the London Marathon many times. Okay, and the London Marathon is 26 miles long. And she used to go, and I, I knew, I was about six or seven or eight, and I knew a marathon was 26 miles long. And she used to come home and say, from the training, I've done 35 miles today. Yeah, 35 miles. That's what she used to say. And I always used to say to her, mum, but a marathon's only 26 miles. And she used to say, yes, if I do 35 miles, then that 26 miles is going to come really easy. And I can really enjoy the occasion of that marathon. Yep, and that strikes off minimum disease. She went above and beyond, okay? And that is what you've got to do if you want to be successful in your business. Do you want to build a team culture of minimum disease? Yeah, where you're celebrating people just getting active. Yeah, or you're just, you know, patting people on the back for just selling a warm or a wax bar. What is that telling your team? Yeah, that is telling your team that it is okay to do the minimum, okay? That is what it's saying, and that is gonna bring minimum results. So if you wanna get great results, you've gotta build a culture of what type of questions are you asking, yeah? What's the minimum sales I need to do? No, what is the minimum amount of sales I need to do to hit my goal, yeah? And then you double that. What is the minimum I need to do to earn a six-figure income? What's the minimum people I need to bring into the business every single month to hit a six-figure um, six income business? Not what is the minimum amount of recruits I gotta do to become a director. Yeah, that is, that is a big, big problem. I've heard many people say to me, Scott, if I bring in 20 people to my business, that is all I need, and I will build a great, successful business. And I say to them, 20 people, no, you need to be bringing 20 people in over a six month period. You can't just bring 20 people in and expect to build a great business. You, that is thinking minimum. 
You gotta dream big and you gotta think maximum. So when you see, when you look at that compensation plan, I see with so many directors too, yeah? Once they get over that 10,000 TWV, they kind of kick back. But they're always fighting every single month at the end of the month to get that 10,000 TWV because they're thinking minimum, yeah? They're thinking minimum. So if you're a director and you're just getting over that line at the end of the month, you gotta expand that TWV to 20 or 30,000 per month, yeah? If you're a superstar director and you're hitting 80,000, yeah, but you've got to think well ahead, of, well ahead of that. That is the minimum requirement to be a superstar director. That is not your minimum requirement to grow your business. So my message is loud and clear. If you want to be a success, you've got to get rid of that minimum disease. Yeah, you've got to be asking the right questions. You've got to be doing the right things. And you've got to be teaching people to do the right these things too. Yeah, you can't expect to get maximum results from a minimum attitude. Yep. And it's a big, 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 big problem. And it comes from that employer employee strategy, which I talked about. So if you want to build a culture of awesomeness, if you want to build a culture which is really going to go places, then strike out the minimum disease. Okay? That's I'm just looking here. Let's strike out the minimum disease and live a life of awesome maximum potential, okay? Now, the minimum disease, I've known about the minimum disease all my life, but Eric Worre did an awesome video on this. This is also in the comment box below where you'll hear some similar things, okay? But it's so, so important that if you want to grow, don't look at the minimum you've got to do, okay? Ask the right questions. What is the minimum I need to do to hit my goals? Yep. And then go do more. Yep. Be that person who turns up to training early, leaves late, and becomes the best student of the profession. Yep. Don't look, oh my God, I can work this in half an hour a day. Let's just do half an hour and leave it. Yep. Go that extra mile. Work your business that extra bit harder. Strike out minimum disease strike out that brick wall in front of your, your face and go and make the magic happen. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and don't live a minimum lifestyle. Boom!